awful, but who cares? It's fun. All right. So share screen. Start sharing. And here we oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to yeah. say. What? We're gonna we're gonna protect Dr. Burks at all costs. <laughs> Uh, and I, love I, know, I love Dr. Burks and I love her brain yeah. and her beautiful scars. And, uh, we're going to be doing a little react today. It's something new for the channel, but we'll do this from time to time. It's fun. Crank that volume up, dog. Crank that shit. Let's go a hot, little bit. There we go. Hot, there we go. Hot, hot reacts. Here we go. Uh, let's hear from the scientist, uh, Dr. Whoopi Goldberg. Coronavirus response coordinator, Dr. Deborah Bricks, made the rounds yesterday the to to clear up you know whose comments Judy brain disinfectant and she backed up or it seemed like she did some of these claims take a look that was a dialogue he was having between the DHS scientist and himself um, for information that he had received and he was discussing um, we have made it clear and he when he turned to me I made it clear and he understood that it was not as a treatment and I think that kind of dialogue will happen. It bothers me that this is still in the news cycle because I think we're missing the bigger pieces of what we need to be doing as an American people to continue to protect one another. And I think the president made it clear that physicians had to study this. Uh -huh. I think I've made it clear that this was amusing as you dis as you describe. OK, you pause it, pause it, pause it real quick. OK, all hold those on. things. He qualified everything that he said. You could say it was stupid and he fumbled his words and maybe it was inappropriate to do that on live television. Yeah. But he qualified everything. He's like under doctor supervision, asking questions to an actual doctor, not just like surmising to himself, like inject yourself with bleach, bitch. Yeah. yeah. And, and, he, and, he, and then that's really what we're talking about is the like, but watch, you're going to, I'm telling you, you're going to be shocked about how they react to this. And she literally didn't say anything controversial there, right? Can we all agree that she didn't say anything very controversial? No, she didn't. No. She didn't say she wasn't defending or not defending. She was just like, this is just what it is. Like, this yeah, is what happened. she actually just described the situation as it happened. And uh, here we go for some more hot reacts only from Whoopi Goldberg. Think she's caught between a rock and a hard place, uh, Joy? You know, I'm wearing Hold this on. scarf because I. They can't. look like old ladies. They look like our fucking <laughs> grandmother, Fran. Dude, she yeah, Hello, looks like Fran. Fran yeah, not like, Fran. No, she doesn't look like Fran. She looks like uh, the other one, the second wife of uh, Pop Up. Oh yeah, Maureen. Yeah, Maureen. Not, yeah, just... she looks like Maureen, but they yeah. all act the same. They're and she sounds and she sounds like Maureen, honestly. I yeah, honestly, she does a little bit. Fucking Maureen, right, guys? Yeah. Here we go. They, got a, they what... got a divorce or some shit. I believe they did. Fucking rock and roll. Okay, we'll move on. Move on. <laughs> See what Maureen has to say. I want to feel sorry for the woman. I'm an homage to Dr. Burks. But um, I feel like, like, like at that. this point, she's less of a doctor and more like a, uh, an elderly care nurse to this guy. Like, he's running around the house in his pajamas yelling at the TV set. They're not getting to up out of bed until late. What are you doing, lady? <laughs> Like, what, are, what are you doing? You're either one that's up, like, looking confused, yelling at your television. <laughs> not, I, uh, not poor Dr. Burks. It's literally frustrating, though. It's so frustrating to sit there and hear these women talk about this great woman who has literally been a doctor, done, served 20 years in the military, retired, been fucking fighting AIDS. You know, fighting AIDS, dude. No, that's She's, the thing. That's she saved thing. Michael, J Michael, Michael, uh, John uh, what, Magic Johnson. Yeah, that guy. Magic Johnson's <laughs> life saved him. <laughs> Saves personally, Wait, personally. Are you sure that that was her? Because I know do, Dr. Do, Fauci did. Do you know who? No, yeah, she was there. Dr. Bur there do, Burke, there Bricks, Burks, Burks, Burks. 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 No, it's Bick, Burks, whatever her name Burks. is. R -R That's fucking like, Say it with do, do you, put some you, respect on it. Do you know who she was? She inspired, right? My her fight owner. against AIDS. The, one of the first episode of the Magic School Bus was on AIDS, and that was it, was based on her. I love it. I love every second of it. <laughs> That's a lie, but just all right. Let's go. Oh, I, I do. I do. Dude, Dr. Brooks is an angel. Okay? All right. All right. Yeah, I thought that, that she has to deal with this shit, but here we go. Here we go. I don't know what he's he's losing it. He's like the grandpa who walks out in the middle of the birthday party with his pants off, and then Dr. Burks is surrogate. Party. He has to again. say, "Oh, Grandpa's just liberating himself." Isn't he funny? Like that. 
uh, you know, it's, it's listen scary. to her breathing. Uh, to, to like, see like, what... These people, when they're not in front of a live audience and they have to flounder, like, am I am I saying something that is funny? Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> they have to like they're like panic breathing, panic yeah. talking. Hilarious. What's going on in this country? It's frightening, and I I agree with yeah. you, Whoopi. She should have stood up at that press conference and said. I object to Jacques Hughes. He is speaking with craziness. They do not put Lysol into your body. But she's trying to walk this yeah. fine line, you see. When the fuck did he ever say put Lysol into your he body? Did, he did talk about getting disinfected oh. into the lungs or whatever oh, at one point, but they, it was a pump. The, the chemicals that react, is there a way to put that in the body? Stupid question. Agree. Stupid. Stupid. But he was actually it. talking to somebody. I was he was asking like, a question. He was asking questions. I'm well, not, hey, he, he said he was being sarcastic. I believe him. Yeah, I don't believe that. But, <laughs> but like, whether or not, like, it's it's not appropriate, right? But yeah. it is not the way they have framed it. It's not hey, the Ryan. reality of the situation. Mm. Ryan, you know we're fucking reacting, right? Yeah, I mean, you guys are just going in. Can't really say much, you know? Oh, hey, listen crazy. here. L- listen here, Big Baseball. Hope yeah. Well, I ain't. And my shit's like going down. All right, all right, hold on. We're gonna finish this. We're gonna finish this hot reacts. Yep. You say. You yeah. Say. yeah, Megan, Pathetic. you think that's what uh, Dr. Burks signed up for? Come on, yeah, dirty diaper. Look, she has an incredible career for decades, and she's. I've actually she puts been doing on way a lot too of, much makeup. Dude. Just you know, I think like all of us, soul that's searching shit. about. Listen, glasses make her look smart, guys. Yeah, they're okay. huge. I heard that she wanted to have sex with her dad. Did you ever hear that? Yep. These frontline people, doctors, people that go in the field of medicine, and I think um, she's doing the best that she can. I, d- I don't know if tonally she can jump up in the middle of a press conference and correct the president, because she may have worded things differently in that interview, yes, but I still feel nothing but compassion for these doctors and people that are the heads of all these, you Shut know, the, the CDC up, and places. You're not oh. saying anything of consequence. What the, White the House fuck? Coronavirus well, Response Coordinator, Dr. Jeff. Who is that? What well, nonsense? Where are you going? Trying to clean what are you doing? Can you? Yeah, Megan. Look, she has an incredible. These frontline people. I d- I don't know if tonally she can jump up in the middle of a press conference and correct the president because she may have worded things differently in that interview. Yes, but. I still feel nothing but compassion for these doctors and people that are the heads of all these, you know, the CDC and places. This is a real brave statement, by the way. Yeah. Okay? This is this is top tier. Oh, yeah. This is a real patriot. This is like that because this virus, we still don't know what we're dealing with. We still don't know when we're going to have a vaccine. We're still as Americans sheltering in place. And I just this sort of inside the palace walls soap opera drama like. I have a harder time sort of coming coming to it than I did when I was in studio before the pandemic happened. And I think a lot of Americans feel the same way. And I, for one, don't want her or Dr. Fauci to go anywhere. Wow, that was, you said nothing. Johnny, you think that uh, you literally Dr. said nothing. Is, is, oh, she's watch supporting her. Now we're about to get the real No, spice. not really. Fuck, fuck her. Real. All right, Sen- watch. Senor- Senorita! Problem? I do. Why did Whoopi Goldberg just make a lemon face? Did you guys see that? Uh, Who the fuck is this person? This is Sonny Hostin. She's a person. She's a lawyer. A lawyer, right? A lawyer? Yeah, she was a lawyer. I think she... Problem, and it gives me no pleasure to say that. Uh, You know, if you watch uh, that interview with uh, Jake Tapper uh, in its uh, totality, she actually implied that the media was to blame for that story to still be in the news cycle. Yep, and right on the I head. believe at this point, yeah. Dr. Burks is complicit in what's going on. It's called on because, nailing it, uh, Sonny. There are times like this, uh, good people with integrity need to stand up and need to speak truth to power. Um, you can't be complicit in a time like this, Dr. Burks. And, and, and so... Um, complicit I think- to what? Like, describing uh, reality? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like she didn't like make shit up. Yeah. Like she just said, "This is what happened," and you guys keep talking about it, kind of for no reason. Yep. Anyways, here we go. She has become part of the problem. I mean, we had her on our show, I believe, uh, April fifteenth, and um, she said a lot and said nothing. Betrayal. It was like one big word salad. <laughs> you know, it was. It's time for her to speak 
the facts and to speak factually. And I know I asked her specifically <laughs> about the lack of testing, what? not only uh, in cities, um, but in rural areas where we just don't have the data because they're testing deserts. Insert Yahoo and clip. She really didn't have factual answers for me on that day. Um, and, and, and so. Noted journalist, Sonny Hostin. You know, I'm, I know that she's had a storied career, but at this point, she is losing um, her integrity. And I, um, I, I'm really surprised and disappointed in Dr. Burks. This is very what the fuck did she say? Yeah, exactly. I, 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 this is like evil. I would love to hear probably her word of support for Joe Biden intercut into that. <laughs> You're right. I don't think like, he's that bad of a rapist. I mean, one person, I mean, come on. One confirmed, possibly. Maybe, sort of, kind of. Yeah, probably a lot more out there. Let's get real. I Believe mean, has there ever been an oh, incident yeah. that Dr. Burks has spoken in an accuracy? I don't think so. Well, I'm sure there, if you, you know, through no, hindsight, well, she, but she's got to do something at the moment. She's, she works for the Trump administration. She's got to do some dancing. Let's just be yeah. frank. She's got it. Yeah. Okay. But uh, relative to what we're looking at here, she was, she's just clearing the record up and being like, you guys are being assholes for kind of misconstruing the record constantly. Why are we still talking about this? That's just why flat earthers exist because of this shit. Let's go. Actually, you're not wrong. No. Very, very disappointed. Well, I, I, I have to say that the reason that the story is still in the news is if you have little kids, you have to constantly explain to them, no, you cannot drink bleach. You can't. Holy <laughs> fuck. What? Can what? you believe that shit? Like what? What little? First of all, what little kids are watching these conferences? <laughs> yeah. Second right. of what all, the... second of all, uh, what the fuck are you talking about? Nobody told anybody to drink be bleach. Dude, dude, they pay these people, dude. They pay them cash money. Where's Zubox's money? I know, man. Listen, if you want to pay me a couple million dollars a year, I will tell people that Trump said that you should drink bleach. I will do yeah, it. Yeah, I'll do it. I got. I have very little integrity. Just like Can fucking Cuomo. This? You know, the Why last do these, that you know, really these eat. people treat the average American like they're really dumb. stupid. Like, like they're, they're real, they're real dumb. Like they we can't think for ourselves yeah. and that we think since the president speaks words that we'll just, just listen do to everything he said. Joe, the president said we could do Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan. He said we can. <laughs> We can do things with these bodies. <laughs> like, it's like, no, dude, like, listen. I mean, there are some One, people. No, listen to me. <laughs> Jocko listen. appears behind you. Ryan, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, there literally are people who get up every day and drink a, doc a Dr. Pepper or a Mountain Dew for breakfast. Every day, dude. That's what they do. Oh, Those yeah, people. Dude. Like, you think about it like, dude, what the fuck are you doing with your life right now? What are you Probably doing? Like, think about those, running businesses. Those, 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 are the, those are the people that fucking hate themselves and they're probably that dumb but let's go no <laughs> right, let's finish this clip even suggested anyone use bleach was a man called dr mengala and he did bad things to people oh my i had wow. to stop i had to stop boys because that's fucking insane <laughs> you know that's what i'm saying shit. holy you can't, shit you can't what, the make this shit up. what the fuck yeah. is that dr mengala are we fucking are we kidding Right now, the angel of death, dude. The angel but of death. Has, she, uh, you heard what she said. You heard what she a, said. Wait a but, oh my God! First Whoopi Goldberg, then Bill De Blasio. <laughs> Did you guys hear with that about that? No. He he was talking about. He's like, we gotta stop people from gathering. We're gonna prosecute, and, and yeah. he and he specifically named the Jews. <laughs> oh yeah. He's like yeah, enough. It's enough. The Jews. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't. We don't discuss bleach. I have all of the compassion for everybody because it's not an easy job. But one of those journalists sitting there should have stood up and said, no, sir, that is a dangerous thing to say because you can actually <laughs> kill people. Yeah. She should have said, what the fuck? You see, nobody is said to do anything like this. this can, is, uh, can, can we please just confirm insane. that she is wearing a... A jean vest. Cut off vest. It's a cut off vest. It's not even just a vest. It, but that's it's, like what she chose to wear. That's how you know you're too rich when you have to look like shit. Like you choose it. That's some shit that, Kanye would wear. That's that Kanye. is some shit. That is some shit Kanye. All right, continue. 
Let's see, let's finish this. Said no, sir, and yes, she should have jumped up. That's part of the reason they're there. They're there to protect us and to make sure we are getting the facts. And it wasn't a joke. Because well, telling I mean, us how to think is that what the, the people think the media is there for? You're so fucking stupid that like you have to assume that because he said the word disinfectant and treatment in the same sentence, that must mean you should inject it disinfectants into yourself. Listen. You can fucking hate Trump, but to suggest this is what was said is fucking crazy. Well, and listen, I, I I listened to it live, and there was a little. I was like, "What the? No, did it he really sounded, say that? Like, it sounded bad. It yeah, did. No, it sounded stupid. Like, why are you going down this line of questioning right now? Yeah. Okay. But, listen, but, but he never because, once says that you should do anything without a doctor. He never once said to yeah, drink bleach. Yeah, he never no. once said to inject disinfectant. Do you know what's the best part of that whole speech, though? What? Is when he goes, you know, he's talking about doing the dis- disinfectant. He goes, you know, I don't know. But, you know, just thinking. He, points, he points at his head. He's like, you know, I'm a smart guy. That's like, pretty much what he does. Well, it's Trump. pretty great. Yeah. He's like, you know, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Not- but <laughs> that's why I'm going to shift the blame to you. Yeah. It's pretty good. You do a joke. You say that at the moment, you know, well, why not this? I'm just kidding. That's how you do that. You don't say, oh, I'm just, I was just kidding the next day. You can day. tell she's a comedian, made a mistake. yeah. <laughs> Nobody called I him on her. it. And she didn't really call him on it. She should have said, no, sir, no one can ingest bleach ever. No one, because it kills. He never and said bleach! And they, nobody did it. Wait, he, he never, never said, said bleach! That's humanity. A- like, nobody ever said, bleach. go fucking bleach. That was but never it's said. Almost, it's almost like the bleach container doesn't say... Not for human consumption, dude. Whoop! He's basically a fucking forty-five-year-old white woman now. Like, That's just make it liberal white woman. Doesn't even make any sense. What the fuck are you talking about, that Karen? Is, but, but Karen. He's like, basically Karen. a fucking Karen. No, no, no. We don't have Karen anymore. Now it's Carol. Okay. Oh, yeah. it's Carol. You know what you say, man? Carol Karen's being Karen's being a real Carol right now. No, but like seriously, this is getting uh, it's ridiculous, and they get paid millions of dollars to sit on TV and oh, chill. That's just- that's just like it's almost unethical because you're just like that's not even your interpretation. You're just like misrepresenting the record, or right. the mainstream media is, and that's all they watch. No, but that's what Dr. Burks was saying. Like you guys are, you guys the are the ones. The King just got stones, though. She had no stones there. Nah, None. Well, I can't stand Megan McCain, but well, anyways, they, neither but can like, I. But like, I, what I mean is, it is like the Streisand effect. It's like this idea that you keep blasting this thing out and it reaches a wider audience than it ever would have reached without your voice. Right. So it's kind of like when we talked about Ari Shafir and the Kobe Bryant stuff, Mm -hmm. like when Michael Rappaport, like kind of put him on blast that went farther than it ever would have reached without him. It became viral because of that. So Mm -hmm. what I mean is like, sometimes when you do this shit, you're just actually creating the damage that you're claiming to be fighting against. Yeah. And it's kind of just, I mean, Hey dude, Listen, honestly, Trump needed a little slap on the wrist. Like, hey, what the fuck are yeah, you doing? Yeah, it, it was and getting a little loosey goosey. It was getting you know a little loosey goosey. And you they're like, happened? ah, we're not going to do this every day anymore. Yeah, they're not yeah. doing it every day. And I think that's good. It's good. Which, yeah, they didn't need it. It was just to. good. And, you know, hey, dude, that's got to be exhausting, man. I was getting tired of tuning in every day. I was like, all right, man. Well, I you wonder... can see it. Well, you can see it on Dr. Burks. You can hear it in her voice. She's fucking tired, dude. This is which, grind for But you have to fucking. The bad thing is, I had to watch it. My angel. I had to watch it because it's the only way I could actually get accurate information. Yeah, because you, you guys don't, you don't believe spin. that they actually believe what they're saying. Do you think? Do you think the, the, media? Doc- the doctors? No, the media. On, on the on the view. Do you think they really believe that, or they're being told that? No, they're idiots. Those talking they're just, points? Dude, they're just fucking mm-hmm. morons. They're just fucking dumb. And I Joey think- Behar talked to Whoopi, and then Whoopi talked to Sonny, and then. Megan McCain's like ostracized, so they don't talk to her outside of the I, show. I would say Whoopi is running the show. Whoopi is Whoopi and Joy. They're running that shit, dude. Well, like, Whoopi's not Whoopi's not dumb, dude. She's yeah, but, playing to her base. Yeah, but, yeah, but like Trump not, is. No, but like there's a real like anger and confusion there, and it's because that's willful ignorance. You know who was the that's, last person to talk about bleach? Mangla. <laughs> yeah, but that's like that is the definition of like Trump derangement syndrome. Dude, well, you, you know can't what, even see objective reality for what it is. Do you know what's going to make it great? What? When he wins again. 
and we're all gonna get those reaction vids, and they're because they're <laughs> gonna do election night, and oh, I can't wait. Dame Pesos is gonna have some great oh. stuff. Well, not even that. Just w- for the debates, that's gonna be in a no. In itself they're not gonna. Event. They're not gonna if, let Joe Biden. Do those if debates, we right? get robbed debates, I will literally fucking riot in the streets. Yeah, just you alone. Just me. Break back the debates. Dick Break out, the screaming debates. the n word over and over again until again. I get attention, which won't yeah. be hard because I'm white. <laughs> anyway, so thank you for everybody for joining us for this little react video, this little test. We're just figured we try something out, do something new. Yeah. Yeah, look, th- Rogue game works, off, guys. Ho- throw it on the Facebook page. Hopefully, it doesn't get uh, hey. what do you call it? Claimed. Go check out, go check out El Jefe, El Jefe. Supplements.com. Great pre workout, best on the market. And if you go to type in the Z- uh, promo code ZB20, you'll get 20% off of your order and free shipping. Oh, what a magical, what a magical experience. You're welcome, everybody. You're welcome from Zoobox to you, ZB20. <laughs> ASDsupplements.com. Make your ass blast. Get ready. Burn that fat.